Rook. I enjoyed playing as Rook. So Rook starts out with one of the better submachine guns in, in submachine guns in the game. This P90. Put an extended barrel on that and a 1.5 magnification scope, and you're good to go. I already talked about this weapon with Doc, and I really liked it. Um, 50 rounds. I definitely preferred it to the MP5. Rook does have the option of a semi-automatic marksman rifle with the HK417. I would put the 2.0 magnification scope on that if I was going to use it, just so you have a broader field of vision and don't get flanked by enemies. But, um, yeah, I just didn't find this gun to lend itself really well to semi-auto marksman rifles, which is a weapon I, I like to play in other shooters. Uh, Rook, all he, very versatile weapon choices. He's got this SG CQB um, pump action shotgun however it's got that f <laughs> it's got a seven shell capacity with each shell having to be manually reloaded which I just don't like that so I don't use it and finally the v308 oh yes at level nine rook gets a great gun I just I just love the V308. 44 damage, 50 round magazine capacity, very low muzzle rise and relatively tight recoil. Nice tight spread. Yeah, the V308 is such a good gun. For secondary, um, like Alibi and uh, I think Dog as well, you start out having to suppress your primary weapon. Because your secondary weapon is a very noisy 357 Magnum revolver. High damage, low bullet count, and just get rid of this thing as, as soon as you can. In my opinion, this thing will, can get you killed. Um, as soon as possible, equip this P9 uh, pistol and throw a suppressor on that. That 16 round magazine is your friend and 27 damage is enough to you know take out nests and uh, not too many not too many bullets are required to take out a nest and single shot low level enemies like grunts and bloaters it's a good gun but the v308 smg with the p9 is is a good combo for any character but uh, rook is a lot of fun to play